Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer, and today I'm here with the all-new Wake case from LifeProof for iPhone 11 Pro. This is LifeProof's slimmest and lightest case. It's not waterproof, but it's still drop protective to the same 6.6 foot height as the rest of the LifeProof lineup. But that's not the only special thing about the Wake. It's also made of 85% recycled ocean-based plastics, fishing nets, ropes, and the like. And LifeProof will donate $1 of your Wake purchase to your choice of one of the water-conscious nonprofits that LifeProof supports. The Wake is a case which protects your phone and the environment. Let's take a closer look at this case on my iPhone 11 Pro in silver. Looking at the construction of the Wake, this is made of a hard, relatively rigid plastic. It is a one-piece case and it is extremely light, much lighter than any LifeProof case that I have yet encountered. The material is made of 85% recycled ocean-based plastics, basically fishing nets and the like, so it's great to get those out of the ocean and onto the back of your phone. Got a little bit of LifeProof branding here on the back and then a nice texture in a wave pattern here on the back as well. Well, overall this seems like a case which should wear well. We've got contrasting button colors here to add a splash of color. And then on the interior, not a lot going on. We got these ridges that go around the edge. This is, I'm sure, part of the protective abilities of this case. This case is going to give you two meters of drop protection, which is the same as any case in the LifeProof lineup. However, obviously it is not a waterproof case and it's not going to provide any port protection either. Putting your iPhone 11 Pro into the white case is quite easy. You're going to want to start on the one side, put your phone in, and then press on the other corners. Once on, you can see we have a very nice tight fit with this case. No sagging anywhere. Everything looks excellent there. As far as the amount of lip, we have a nice protective lip for your screen. I do have an edge-to-edge -edge tempered glass screen protector on here right now, the very excellent OtterBox Amplify edge-to-edge. -edge. If I did not have this on the phone, of course, there would be more visible lip. But even with this screen protector on here, you can see we still have a nice amount of lip protecting your screen. Going down here to the bottom, this is going to surprise a lot of people, definitely surprised me, that we have a life-proof case that has a basically open bottom to it. This is definitely a first. Of course, we do have protection against impact because of the corners here, as well as this area that juts out here below our open bottom. So I think that in most impacts, you're going to be in fine shape. I mean, you might get a terribly unlucky impact that hits exactly right here, but most impacts are going to hit across here or basically across that bar at the bottom. So I think you're going to be okay. And of course, this case does have that two meters of drop protection. So I think overall, it's really quite a protective case. Not waterproof, not dustproof or dirtproof, but definitely has a good amount of drop protection. So obviously you're not going to have any issues in accessing your lightning port and you have full access to your speaker and microphone area. Going up the sides of the case, this is made of a matte finished plastic that has a little bit of texture to it. Should be quite fingerprint and scratch resistant. Gives you a little bit of grip to it, but not that much. This is not really a grippy case by any means. It's not a slippery case either. Structurally, the fact that you have things like the ridges on the back always give you something to hold on to, and I don't find that this is a case that wants to slip out of my hands, but it's still going to slide easily in and out of pockets and handbags. Going up here to our buttons, these are a pleasure, extremely clicky and responsive, absolutely no issues there, really like the buttons. I also think they're a nice splash of color here on the sides of the case, and then you have no issues in getting to your mute switch unless you have really huge fingers. Looking here at our view from the top, again you can see the amount of lip we have on here and the fit with the OtterBox Amplify, just love the Amplify screen protector. And then going here to the sides, we've got another excellently clicky responsive button and some life-proof branding. Going to the back of the case, I think that the Wake has a great look and feel. We've got some life-proof branding down here at the bottom, and then we've got this cool wave pattern. So when I looked at this case online when the Wake was first announced, I couldn't tell whether this was simply a printed-on pattern or whether it was an actual texture, and I can tell you that it is actually a texture. It has a really nice appearance to it. 
I think it all fits in with the aquatic origins of this case. Love the fact that you have that 85% of ocean-based material present in this case. So we got plenty of protection here for your protruding camera. That is looking really good. And of course the case does support wireless charging, no problems there. Very thin and lightweight. They've done an impressive job keeping that two meters of drop protection in such a slim and lightweight case. So in LifeProof's lineup, the case that this is closest to in size as well as price is the LifeProof Slam. The Slam offers the same drop protection and also, like the LifeProof Wake, does not have any kind of port protection associated with it. But this is still much smaller as well as much lighter weight in comparison to the Slam. I don't have a Slam with me here, but I do have the Next. And if you look at it side by side with the Next, you'll see that the Next is much taller. The next is also a little bit wider. It's actually very, very slightly thinner, but that advantage is outweighed by the fact that it is way heavier, almost twice as heavy as the wake. So I think that the wake definitely wins out in terms of size and weight in comparison with the next, and in comparison with the slam, although I don't have a slam to show you a comparison with today. Again, we've been looking at the Wake by LifeProof for iPhone 11 Pro. This product is available directly from LifeProof as well as many other retailers. And for those of you that are curious, it's also available for iPhone 11, 10R, 11 Pro Max, and the new iPhone SE, as well as Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra. Price-wise, it's the same across all of these phone models at $39.99, and the same colors are available for all phone models as well. We we have a black model that's black with black buttons. We have Down Under, which was featured in this review, green with orange accents. And then we have a color called Neptune, which is blue with green accents. Many thanks to the kind folks at LifeProof for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about any of these cases, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you're interested in subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have lots more case, screen protector, and other tech accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer, and this is The Wake by LifeProof for iPhone 11 Pro. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.